three, an 18-year-old autistic teen, was arrested on the belief that he was responsible for a mass murder event at a chicken restaurant in Palatine, Illinois, that occurred on April 26, 1993. The reason uh, he was suspected in that was because his friend, Mr. Maj Mr. Paul Madrowski's friend, Bob Farasi, falsely accused Paul of participating in that mass murder event. The reason for that was uh, uh, Bob Farasi committed a murder and wanted to, you know, get the attention away from himself. So he implicated Mr. Uh, Madrowski in both the mass murder, and uh, the Palatine massacre, and the Barrington murder. In that case, a uh, friend of Mr. F uh, Farasi was killed. And... Because Mr. Farasi was also Paul Madrowski's friend, who was autistic, he decided that uh, that would be a great scape that he would be a great scapegoat. Well, unsurprisingly, Mr. Farasi failed both polygraph tests, which means Mr. Madrowski didn't do anything at all. I mean, during the trial, he was scared. He was, you know, very nervous. And what his lawyer said to him? not to show any emotion during the trial or say anything at all. And that's what he did, and that's why he was found guilty. See, people with autism are really easily um, subjected to, to being abused. And Mr. Madrowski's lawyers were very, very unfair to him. They cost him his life. He's sitting in prison, so currently serving life without parole for a crime he didn't commit. That's not even the worst part. Um... He was accused, wrongly accused, of supposedly lending his car to Mr. Farasi. And because of that, he was charged with accountability for murder. Yet, Mr. Farasi was found not guilty. So how can you be guilty of a crime for aiding your friend when he didn't even, when he was not, when he was found not guilty? And actually, Mr. Madrowski said he never lent the car, his own car out that uh, a police officer fabricated that story. And considering that everything that went on with, and with Paul, I unfortunately, I think it's really likely that Paul was set up. Uh, Mr. Farasi had uh, connections to the mafia, and likely because of that, and likely because of that, Mr. Farasi convinced one of the police officers uh, to find him guilty, also, or I mean, arrest him, and you know, um, come up with false evidence in the questioning. Even if that's not the case, because Mister uh, uh, Madrowski was uh, a prime suspect in the Palatine massacre, the jury found him guilty on the basis that he was likely a perpetrator in both of those cases. In fact, he was not a perpetrator in either of the cases. And two suspects later came forward and confessed to the Palatine Massacre. But that occurred almost 10 years after Paul Madrowski was arrested. They, those two were sentenced 12 years after he was convicted. Mr. Farasi um, is still a free man, actually, believe it or not. And this innocent autistic man is serving a life without parole sentence. For, 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 not for murder, but for accountability, which he didn't even do. So that's why I'm asking you to sign this petition. It's just morally wrong to jail somebody for a crime they did not commit, especially when they're disabled. Thank you for watching.